What's up folks, GameRex here and welcome back to a brand new video. I know I've been offline for quite a while now, but for now it's time to react to another great video that I have found. Uh, recently on my TikTok I found a video called what dinosaurs might have sounded like, but that was very, very interesting and epic to hear. So that's why I'm making a part 2, but this time on YouTube. So that's also the reason why I won't react to part one of the dinosaur vocalization study because I already did that on TikTok. So if you want to see that, make sure to um, yeah to follow my TikTok. Uh, yeah, links are down in the description. But for now, I think it's time to react to the dinosaur vocalization study part two, actually. So sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. Whoop all right, the dinosaur vocalization study part two, the Jurassic era. These sounds are produced carefully and with the latest information regarding dinosaurs and prehistoric reptiles available. Most dinosaurs did not have a syrinx. Most dinosaurs did not have a syrinx or a larynx and could not sing or produce complicated calls. However, recent studies have uncovered a larynx during an ankylosaurus fossil recovery, meaning that it's possible that many dinosaurs sounded closer to birds and modern reptiles than previously th uh, anticipated. This is a second video in a series which attempts to accurately rebuild dinosaur sounds. This project has been ongoing for now f more than five years. Oh my god, that's quite a long time. Oh, I can already hear those amazing sounds in the background. But let's see. Dinosaur vocalizations. Comsognathus is the first. All right. Wow. All right, that sounds cool. It sounds a little bit like a, uh... yeah, wait a bit. It sounds a little bit like, yeah, just like a modern bird. <laughs> That's so cool, wait, wow, yo. Yeah, it's just amazing. It really sounds very familiar. When you wake up in the morning and you hear the birds in the trees squirreling. Yeah, this is absolutely phenomenal. If this is just the beginning, then we have potential to have great... Uh, Dilophosaurus! Whoa! Whoa, that's... I didn't expect that from Dilophosaurus. That's very, very cool. But th the thing is, you know, the, the funny thing is, most of us grew up with movies like Jurassic Park and documentaries like Walking with Dinosaurs, etc. So, of course, um, because we watched that in the past, we expect dinosaurs to make other sounds, like crazy roars or something. But in reality, that's just not true. And there's just a lot and a lot of people who think that dinosaurs are still those roaring, um, bloodthirsty animals that constantly killed each other every second of their life. But that's actually just not true. All those people who still think that, just please go with the facts. It's literally displayed right in front of us here. So please go with us, go with the modern times. You can't imagine dinosaurs as roaring scary beasts in horror movies because that's not what they were. All right, with that said, let's continue. It sounds very, very cool though. This is actually one of the first times I've seen an accurate Dilophosaurus. One thing that already grabs my attention is the bigger crest on its head. Well, that sounds very cool, Game Rex. You know what's also very cool? Your webcam is literally blocking the view of the Dilophosaurus head. Yeah, I really haven't thought about that. Because of course, it's still fragmentary. And it has a bit of fluff. It's a ratosaur. Mm. Oh my god. That's, that sounds very scary, actually. Oh my god. This gives me a little bit of crocodile vibes. I don't know if it's, if it's me, but the Ceratosaurus seems to have a more crocodilian-like look. But it sounds amazing though. Really, it's, <laughs> it is spectacular. My god. 
Oh, the deep clicks, the deep bellows. Oh my god, I literally get goosebumps here. It's so amazing. Right, next one. Oh, what? Uh, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Why is Allosaurus so much bigger than Ceratosaurus? I thought they were... Uh, well, I know obviously that the Allosaurus was bigger than Ceratosaurus, but it's not so much bigger. I thought they were a little bit um, closer to each other in terms of size, but I, I could be wrong though. Uh, someone, uh, please let me know in the comments. I don't know for sure, actually. But still, let's, let's listen to the sound. This sounds very, very crocodilian. Yeah, these are literally hisses like crocodiles do. But, yeah. Oh, that sounds... Jesus Christ, that's so cool. The deep sounds. Of course, in prehistoric planet etc we already saw these like the carnotaurus make a very deep sound deep bellows stegosaurus <laughs> what's that picture of stegosaurus actually to be honest this is kind of what i expected of a stegosaurus it sounds very cool though Why does it sound like a... <laughs> Why does it sound like a cow? Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. You truly don't want to mess with these dinosaurs. They literally kill you in one hit. That's just to show how f how fragile humans are. Brachius... Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, this is my favorite one until now. My favorite one. I actually... Wait. I also actually love this... What, what is it? A kind of fleshy thing going down its neck. I think it has something. You know, I literally discovered something lately. I literally discovered that the Brachiosaurus from Jurassic Park apparently isn't truly a Brachiosaurus. So I actually learned that the Brachiosaurus in Jurassic Park is a giraffe titan and not a Brachiosaurus. You can tell the difference between the two species because the the uh, yeah the brachiosaurus from Jurassic Park has that big hump on its head while actually giraffe titan had a bigger hump on its head than brachiosaurus so yeah i think indeed this would be more accurate uh, yeah overall but regardless of how it looks it's still such an amazing sound this literally gave me almost tears in the eyes <laughs> it's so cool Imagine if we could bring these dinosaurs back to life. Then I would be very, very happy. If we could bring dinosaurs back to life, I would literally cry. Is that your Pluridon? Why does it have that weird sound? Oh, I... Oh, my God. Oh, that's... Oh, my God, that's terrifying. Yeah, I'm literally having goosebumps right now. It literally just sounds like a person screaming on the water. Or more like a whale or something. Oh, it literally gives me the chills. That's just to show how beautiful dinosaurs were in reality. And yeah, of course, like Plurton isn't a dinosaur, it's a marine reptile. Oh my god. And it's actually a little bit smaller. I like that. Pteranodon. My god. Why does it sound like a crying baby? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Not anymore right now. I, yeah, I think that's kind of what I expected from Petranodon. But... Yeah, I really like the sound still, but... I thought it was a little bit more high-pitched, but yeah, still, could be just me. 
imagine you're walking through an open grass, just some grass fields or grasslands, and you hear that patronodon. This concludes my research. Thank you for watching. Everyone, this was <laughs> absolutely amazing. Oh my god. I, the Brachiosaur always almost gave me literally tears in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but yeah everyone i think for now that's um yeah that's it i think that's it for today's video of course because this video is a little bit shorter than normally i think i will do a second part uh right away after i'm uh, done with this recording so yeah i think i want to do that for now i want to say thank you for watching through this brand new video of course before you go make sure to drop a like down below and of course subscribe to my channel if you are new here if you want to and of course um put notifications on so you can never miss any new stuff but yeah still thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one adios